We are studying different ways to electrify offshore oil and gas operations. If a reliable and cost efficient solution can be found, this can help reduce emissions from our facilities offshore significantly. Innovative concepts like this are very interesting for us. It is Total's global climate ambition to reach net zero emissions by 2050 worldwide. Electrification of oil and gas production in Denmark is important because it offers one way for the industry to reduce its CO2 emissions and thereby support the Danish ambition to reach 70% emissions reduction by 2030. It's difficult to reduce CO2 emissions from the Danish oil and gas production because the platforms are located far out in the North Sea, far away from existing electricity uh, infrastructure. The platforms are driven with natural gas, so if we can replace that and drive the platforms with electricity instead, it offers a way to reduce CO2 emissions. This project has been based on floating power plants combined floating wind and wave technology. This technology has been developed for areas that are very energetic, meaning lots of wind and waves, but also for areas over 50 meters water depth where fixed foundation wind is financially unfeasible today. The technology platform for this project consists of four things. It consists of a stable floating platform, a semi-submersible, a 10 megawatt offshore wind turbine, 2 megawatts of wave power coming from four wave energy converters, a mooring system and an export grid. For this specific market segment, FEP's technology brings some unique features. It brings a safe O&M harbor, it brings uh, more power with higher quality, and it brings the opportunity to host auxiliary systems such as hydrogen components. Integrating hydrogen offshore is a great idea because it enables large storage of energy, it enables providing stable base power from an intermittent energy source. And it also opens up opportunities for producing hydrogen offshore and export it to shore in a pipeline for end use onshore. The building blocks for making offshore hydrogen is desalination, electrolyzers, fuel cells, storage solutions and compressors. What we have done here is to commit to tell us the problem owner. Uh, we provided a proper proof of concept funding and we helped the project team to overcome obstacles on our way, making time to market shorter and more lean. Energy produced from uh, wind and wave on the floating foundation supplies a nearby production platform. The energy production will in many hours of the year exceed the demand uh, from the production platform so the energy can be stored as uh, hydrogen on the top side. The hydrogen can uh, supply the production platform. In case with surplus uh, hydrogen, uh, we can send it at shore and making the natural gas pipe system even more green at shore. This project is interesting because it has the potential to provide renewable power to offshore production platforms, which can help reduce CO2 emissions. The integration of hydrogen can increase the availability of renewable power by converting the hydrogen back into electricity on days with little or no wind. Another scenario is to mix the green hydrogen produced with the natural gas produced and export it to market as a greener gas. We have learned a lot from participating in this project, especially around how the inclusion of hydrogen can increase system uptime and how much hydrogen can be blended into the natural gas export stream.